The king of central fitness is your stroke volume. This is how much blood your heart pumps per beat. Bigger stroke volume equals more oxygen delivered with every heartbeat, which equals more efficiency, meaning you don't suffer as much. So when you make central adaptations, you're improving your performance through increasing that stroke volume so your heart gets better at pushing more blood per beat instead of just beating faster, lower resting and submaximal heart rate so your heart doesn't have to work as hard to deliver the same amount of oxygen, and more red blood cells and plasma volume, so better blood flow and better oxygen transport for better endurance. And it's actually not that difficult to see whether or not you're improving your central fitness in your training as you can look for some key elements like your overall perceived endurance is improving so longer efforts feel easier to you, your measured VO2 max is improving, you can usually get a good gut check for this if you have a wearable or an activity tracker that uses your heart rate strap to generate a VO2 max reading. While you might want to take the absolute value with a grain of salt, you can generally trust those trends to see if you are improving over time. And you can recover more quickly between efforts, so your heart rate and your breathing start to normalize faster after hard efforts, and that next interval doesn't feel like it's coming quite as quickly. These are the things that often get lost in the sauce of training, as people myopically focus on metrics like FTP, CTL, threshold pace, and so on. But they are oh so critical if you want to improve as an athlete. 